you know, I, I, I um, rest in peace, Ty, uh, Tyree Nichols. You know, I did read the article about you know him being from um, originally from uh, Oakland, and it, that's you know some of his friends out over over at the uh, the Regency Community State uh, Park and and North and Thomas all did a, vert, a vigil for him. Sorry, Sacramento, Sacramento. Excuse me. It says Jerome Neal also met Nichols at the skate park at the age of 13 years old. I can only imagine, you know, when you're across the, the, the you know, the, your childhood friends that are, you know, like I have loads of childhood friends that I have all over this country. And all I can think about, you know, when you when you hear this stuff, you know, I don't have children, you know, I have niece, I have, I have, you know, I have nephews, I have nephews, you know, and I do have friends. And while <clears throat> and I have family, and, I, and while you know, you know, due to COVID and, and the situations that are going on, you know, with my social anxiety myself, we're going to talk to you, uh, Dorian, a little later on. Right now, I, I really do want to focus on the the idea that we, we we're not safe in this country. I mean, that's the point blank serious. I mean, I don't think anyone's safe. I don't think we can say black lives. Well, you know, they don't care about black lives, so they're just certainly not going to care about Asian lives. They're certainly not going to care about Jewish lives. They're not going to care about anybody else's lives. They don't care about black lives. I don't know how many times we have to say this to you. You know, the horrificness of, of it being on tape. The premeditation of it, you know? The premeditation of, of letting you guys know that th- this is what's going to go down, okay? This is how this is how we run things, okay? <clears throat> and, you know, just watching the sixteen nineteen project and 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 um, watching some other uh, you know uh, documentaries and even you know emancipation, you know the idea of what the cops were really for to go wrangle up some you know who's and you know hang them, you know do a hanging. And, you know, and that's what they did to uh, Tyree Nichols, you know, they lynched him. And we have a an anti-lynching law in this country. <clears throat> now we got to see if it actually works. I didn't see the video and I couldn't see the video. I, I, I refuse. I saw some stills because, you know, you just can't help it. You live in this world of <clears throat> social media. And I, I, you know, that's why I had blacked out my um. I had blacked out my, you know, IG. Yeah, I felt myself getting triggered about it. And I, and I was like, I, I can't watch it. I knew it was coming. And, and and sidebar, even the whole Nancy Pelosi video, you know what I'm saying? With her husband getting hit by a, um, a hammer. It, it's all connected. Like, I don't I don't understand why we don't we don't see it. And, and what, what happens when it's one of my family members? I mean, how do I how do I react to that? How do I react when it's. Someone that I know very closely in, in, in my family circle or my or even anyone, anyone, anyone that I know, even if it was a passing no, you know, a former co-worker, you know, someone I, I particularly uh, had an affinity for. I had good times around. I have good memories for. And just for them just not to be here, you know, just all of a sudden... And you, you think, okay, maybe they did something, they didn't put something, or they didn't do something right, or you know, maybe they were just on the wrong side of the law. Here is someone who wasn't on that side. He was just a good guy. You know, the kid, the kid was a good kid, you know? And now he's got a, now his child has to grow up with no father. <clears throat> And then you want to, and then, you know, which really irks me is when, 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 uh, when we have these hoteps walking around talking about the black family, you know, what destroys the black family. This is what destroys the black family. This is what destroys the family unit in this country. Religious zealots, nuts, and domestic terrorists that are, are, that are actually paid by our tax dollars paid. We paid these guys to go on there and beat a man to death. A father to death. A human being to death. A human being. That's all. And it's um it's it's uh it's it's frustrating, you know, I, to see even the reactions from you know many people who, who just started breaking down crying and, and, and on air, on air. Yeah, I'm holding it together, Crush. I see you over there, too. You're tearing. We're all tearing. We're all tearing because we're losing people. 
And we can act like we can go on with our life with, you know, with the IG accounts and see what's going on. And, you know, we're going to move on, too. You know, we'll, we're going to have to talk about the Grammys this week. We, we're going to talk about, you know, all these other things that are happening in our life. We just can't compartmentalize and just never discuss it. You know, to act like it doesn't happen or it doesn't, it's not happening. We are under attack, all of us, everybody. Anyone can get it. Oh, unless you're, you know, rich, wealthy, and, you know... <laughs> Somewhere in a gated community, you know what's her name? What's not uh, uh, Nancy Pelosi's uh, family? Wasn't on a gated community. She was down the, right on the, uh, down the block. It was easy for the guy to just jump on in and you know start knocking windows in. Terrorist hunting us, whether they be uh, you know domestic terrorists that are out here, you know, in plain clothes or or they're got badges. You know what I'm saying? Blue suits. You know. Masquerading as people who care about your safety You know, masking around here Walking around acting like they want to help you Or protect you Protect you from what? What are you protecting me for? That's why we need to get rid of this Law and order idea I'd, I'd like to change it to public safety And we got, you know A shout out to this um, All the people who are out there protesting um, you know, uh, over the, the, the weekend, I was, uh, very keen to that. I mean, I was on social media, you know, like, you know, just seeing what was going on with family and friends and things. And I got a couple of people I to follow on social media. You know what I'm saying? They keep me hooked up with what's going on on the streets, you know, and I, it was good to see y'all out there putting it, giving it to, to, to NYPD because they haven't disbanded their, um, their special unit. If I actually remember Eric Adams, the... The police man himself put it back together after de Blasio had disbanded it. So, so you know, we're under attack, people. And there's only uh, two ways that this works. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to keep losing people and keep losing people in mass shootings. This is going to continue to happen. We're going to continue to have people be ignorant because, you know... You got uh, white supremacists that are in this country who want to make sure that, you know, black people are not in 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 your your law, your history books. You want to erase the, the, the Jewish history of the Holocaust. Uh, you want to erase the the migration, uh, you know, the, the trail of tears, uh, you know what I'm saying, by the indigenous people, you know. They want to silence all that stuff, man, because the more you learn, the more the less this would happen, you know, unless you need the guns. You, you don't need the guns. You would end up going. The only time you need a gun is when you go to the gun range and then you can leave it there. You don't need to go, you know, carrying it around, you know, shooting every uh, person of color that you see that you keep you scared of. Or joining the force to get paid to do it. You know what I mean? Why not join the force? I get paid. I get paid to shoot them, beat them up, shove plungers in their behinds, torture their families and friends, and then we'll pay them a nice, softy, uh, you know, settlement. They'll be fine, right? Isn't that what capitalism was all about? Hey, here's $12 million. That's all it's worth. It's all it's worth. Out here trying to make people millionaires to lose their children. I don't know. I mean, this is this is where we're at. And so we just have to deal with that reality. You know, the, the, the quicker we deal with this reality is the quicker we, we can, you know, uh, adjust and move accordingly. Anyone can go at any time, anywhere. Your friends, your family members, your cousins, your nephews, your mama, your grandfather, your, your sister, brothers, uh, you know, your, your ballroom family. A- anyone. All can get it. I can get it. You know, everyone, anyone. So until we decide that we don't want anyone to get it, you you, you feel me? Then you know what you got to do. And then more than just protesting. Public safety, boom. I don't care about anything else. The only thing you want to have a discussion about is how to keep people safe. Just like nothing works. Our government doesn't work. Our police department doesn't work. Our hospitals don't work. You know, nothing works. And it's on purpose. It's by design, as as the mister would always tell me. This is all by design. Yeah, you know. 
coach. I don't want to change the system because you're scared. You're scared. Or what do you, are you more scared of changing the system that might work? Or are you, are you more scared of bullets flying by your brains or the cops pulling you over and, and, and snatching your children's life? I don't know. Maybe I guess you guys got to do for the, the, the worst fear, right? The, the, the worst of two evils? I don't know. I don't know. 